So Bodhizendo is a Zen meditation center in Kodaikanal, India, in the South India. And it was founded by Ama Sami, who is a very humble and beautiful person who still stays in the center. And he has written more than dozens of books on the Zen and very respected. So Zen Meditation Center, what they do in terms of courses, they run these uh, uh, sessions, six to seven days or mini session, which is three days courses, right? But other than courses, it's like a meditation center where you can also live in a community, right? So it's totally fine. If you're not, if there's no course running, you can just stay in the center for like months also, right? In terms of pricing, they charge something like 700, 800 rupees per day for Indians and something around 1000 for foreigners, which includes three meals, your separate room with, uh, most of the rooms have the washroom, uh, bathroom attached to it. And of course, access to the meditation, uh, center and they also have a very nice routine we'll go into the routine in a while but i mean very quickly you will come to know like this seven eight hundred rupees or thousand rupees whatever they are charging they are trying to charge as less as they can potentially charge to keep the meditation center going on and in terms of zen practice right especially if you are in the beginning if you are trying to you know explore the meditation or you're in the early stage of meditation, it is really a good idea to explore it in the different traditions. And Bodhizendo is more like a Zen, traditional Zen meditation center. And the way they practice meditation in Zen meditation center is that they have fundamentally two practices. One is Zazen, which is like in Vipassana, Anapana or Samatha or like focusing on the breath. It's basically a practice to stabilize your attention, right? The second practice is the practice of solving the koans. Now this is for understanding the nature of reality. So the way they do it is more or less solving the koans, right? These koans are like puzzle and you work with a teacher. And one of the beautiful thing about again the Bodhi Zendo is there's always a Zen master available in the center. And you can always go to and talk to him in the morning after meditation uh, with your questions, right? So you can work with a Zen master in the Bodhi Zendo along with him and solving these koans, right? So the koans are more like a intellectual puzzles. For example, one of the koans I think that time they were discussing was something like uh, what is rounder than circle and what is sharper than knife, right? They will give something like this to you and then it's your kind of job to kind of understand or you know figure out what does that potentially mean and then you meet the teacher and then it, he nudges you in a different direction and then that's how it goes on right and there's a bunch of these koans book traditional koans book right so this is coming from one book there's like you know you work through your way to uh, different levels right very different approach it it doesn't work for me as a person but it good to, it, it was good to know that there's something like this people are doing to get the nature of reality to get into the to get the insight into the nature of reality so that's their main practice now when they do the sessions generally these courses 3 days or 6 days these courses happens in the silence so for those times you are not supposed to be speaking all the meals and everything, everything is in the silence. I think you're expected to meditate around five hours to six hours, I'm sensing. And uh, you are also expected to do a little bit work, which is like serving or seva, right? So for the meditation center, so somebody will have to help in cutting the vegetables, somebody will have to uh, clean the kitchen, wash the dishes, wash the floor and all these kind of things, which also makes uh, meditation practice strong. But it's nice they built into this uh, uh, sessions, right? So this they goes on, goes on for three. So three three days one happens every month, but the six days one happen with less frequency. So every month, let's say if you're living in the meditation centers, uh, you're expected to meditate, you know, intensely for three month three days, and then for the rest of the month, if you're just living there, it is expected that you know, and they made like a really nice 
a schedule for living in a meditation community actually so let's say if you're living in a meditation community without in that session period also it is expected that 5 30 everybody will wake up everybody will meditate for one hour in the meditation center together meditation room together and what you practice is up to you they don't force you about practice this or that it is totally up to you whatever you practice you just practice there of course you don't want to disturb other people right that generally they do two 25 minute session uh, in between 10 minute of walking meditation and they also do in beginning and end some kind of uh, zen poetry chanting chanting right very uh, reasonable or very uh, non secular kind of thing there's nothing like a religion into it and doing it as a community is very beautiful right and then what happens is, if i'm going with the schedule what happen is like after morning meditation everybody has the food together as a breakfast then the silence breaks you can talk for next 3 4 hours you are expected to do a little bit serving in between and then you can also do your work whatever work you are doing right is uh, totally fine and then silence starts so throughout the day there's like meditations a little bit time where nobody's talking and everybody's in the silence and you can focus on your work uh, and then there is some time where you are allowed to talk on I when everybody you know can be together as a community and all together like the whole day is such a well structured for growing in a meditation within the community right living in a community and growing in a meditation in that way the place itself is very beautiful right it's really beautiful it's slightly in a village and they have like their own zen garden and all these things it's really nice place and it is also run very sincerely right there is always as i'm saying there's always like a zen master in the center who is kind of governing and making sure right the quality of center is stay intact so yeah so that's pretty much about the bodhi zendo especially as i was saying before also if you are initial if you are exploring the meditation it's really nice to get exposed to different meditation styles to just be more educated about meditations right how different people are practicing it you will notice like goal is more or less the same there's a different approach people are taking based on different um temperament or different traditions right i really enjoy living there so I, right now i don't live in india i live in germany but when i was living in india it was one of those places i would just love to go for a couple of weeks and i can sort it out like i can sort out my head if i had to make decisions and it you have like a community feeling there and it's just like very nice place and you can also do your work if you are working and do it remotely but altogether it was such a beautiful experience to be there